everyone and welcome back to another Species Spotlight. I'm Miss Nicole here in the garden and I'm actually over by our north side pond because we are talking about a frog today, specifically the Cuban tree frog. The Cuban tree frog is actually one of the largest tree frogs in North America. It can be anywhere from 2 to 5.5 inches, which is a pretty big frog. Now, not only are they a big frog, but they're actually super invasive here. And we do see them from time to time in the garden, especially in this area. But I'm not actually able to find any right now because they are typically nocturnal creatures and they go hunting at night. So it's hard for me to find one right now, but I will insert a picture right here for you to see. And that photo along with a few other Cuban tree frog pictures can be found on our Instagram at keywest.garden. Now this species, like I said, is actually invasive here. It's originally from Cuba, the Bahamas, and the Cayman Islands. But um, here it made its way. It actually has traveled on um, different ships. Um, it's gone onto ornamental plants that people have purchased. And that's how this frog has gotten spread pretty much all over North America. And it's um, very invasive. And the reason it's super invasive is because it eats our native species. Now these frogs can eat lizards, snakes, um, insects, and they eat all of our native species. So they're taking out our native species and then they're reproducing. And not to mention a female Cuban tree frog can lay 3,900 eggs. And those eggs get laid in the water. And as we know with frogs, we go from eggs to tadpole, to froglet, to frog. And these frogs can also live a pretty long time in the wild. They can live five to 10 years. So that's just some interesting facts about this tree frog and there's some cool adaptations it has. Two in particular, one adaptation is that this frog's skin on its head is attached to its skull. Now this is an adaptation that helps them um, with water. And then another adaptation they have is they can secrete a mucus that actually is pretty harmful to humans. It causes a fiery sensation if it gets into a human's eye. So stay clear of these guys. You don't want to get any of that on you. And um, if you see them in your garden, you might want to try to get rid of them because they could be eating other native species. Thanks for joining me for another Species Spotlight. I'll see you next week.